Joining us now, former Hillary Clinton advisor, Philippe Reynas, and former Clinton advisor, Dick Morris, and the author of the new book, Rogue Spooks, ooh, with Eileen, and along with Wall Street Journal columnist Kim Strassel. All right, I brought a special prop. I'm not a prop person, <laughs> but I have a gavel, and um, in case things get really <laughs> nasty between uh, uh, Morris and Arenas. Just and don't use that on our heads. Don't worry, you don't worry. the table. All right, and Kimberly, us. don't worry. You're in on this action, too. I'm not a man of violence. All right, let's start with <laughs> Morris here, because, Dick, first of all, I want to congratulate you. You're wearing the uh, Brit Hume Boca Raton uh, uh, okay. a good sweater tonight, so okay. that you you already win points. Tell me about uh, this idea, and we heard it from Trey Gowdy that at least part of this dossier, part of the information uh, in it, came from Sid Blumenthal. Then we'll talk yeah. about Cody Shear. Yeah, I, I said this on your show last week that uh, they couldn't publish the negative research that Shearer and Blumenthal did under Shearer and Blumenthal's names because they were so discredited on Trump. On Trump. So they laundered it through Steele. They found Steele, who had an excellent record as a foreign service person, head of the Russia Bureau at MI6 for a decade. And uh, he had a good relationship with the FBI. And they felt that if they laundered it through Steele and it was presented as Steele's work, there would be a better chance of it being taken seriously. And I believe that most of the dossier was written by Shearer and Blumenthal. Uh, first of all, knowing Hillary, they are the class A, dirty ops, black ops people she goes to. Uh, and, uh, and Hillary at one point called me in the 96 campaign and said, I really want you to get to know Sidney Blumenthal. Or you. And then uh, Bill followed it up and said, did Hillary talk to you about Sidney? And I said, yeah. And then every time I met with Sidney every week, I would call Hillary. And he was the dirty tricks operative. I remember I wanted to know Dole's position on something, who was our opponent, and he wasn't saying. So I asked Blumenthal, who was allegedly a journalist for New Yorker, to ask Dole the question. And Dole answered it, and I used it in a negative ad. Now, um, but this doesn't mean that he's necessarily the source of the dossier. I mean, the fact that he well, did all this stuff in the 90s, how do we jump to the conclusion that he necessarily did this? And I want to get Philippe on this. Philippe, you know, look, you heard what Gowdy said. Sid obviously has a long history. He was so he was so uh, uh, radioactive that even Rahm Emanuel banned him from the Obama White House. Didn't want any part of him in the White House because he believed that uh, Blumenthal was behind all the negative stuff that came out about Obama in the 2008 campaign, which he, they were right about. So what uh, what of this? Well, uh, let me say that I agree with something Dick said, which is that Chris Steele is a renowned MI6 agent and Foreign Service agent. And if his theory is correct as to why they funneled or laundered it through him, then you've got a problem. Because I think Dick just inadvertently gave credence to the rest of the dossier. Oh, no. Trey Gowdy, Trey Gowdy didn't say who it was. But let's just stipulate that his oh, he hinting. Was, he, come on. Let's was, just, okay, let's say it's Devin Nunez did the I've, same thing I've never heard night. of Cody Shear. No one's going to believe that. I, I I just have never heard the name. Sid, I think Dick knows, despite you haven't the colorful... Worked. Then you haven't been around the Clintons. You haven't worked with the Clintons as long as I have. Yeah, exactly. I actually have. I actually have. And I, wasn't, I wasn't fired by them. But the more important oh. thing is... That's a low blow. <laughs> Sid, you know Fire Sid. Wife, Sid is a lot more <laughs> of a character than you're, dis you're portraying. Okay. I'm not defending him. But I think the most important <laughs> thing is... The notion that the dossier was written by <laughs> Sid Blumenthal is crazy. That's not what happened. Chris Steele wrote the dossier. Chris Steele. Right. Yeah, yeah, let's get to Kim on and, this. And Devin Nunes has said yeah. that, mu that much in yeah, it so is real. Kimberly, go ahead. Let's, let's talk about Christopher Steele for a little bit, because the importance of the Grassley memo today is that it provides proof, information, that Mr. Steele went to the FBI and, and supposedly he was so worried about the country and Donald Trump, and yet he uh, broke FBI cardinal rules. He undermined the FBI. The FBI had admonished him not to speak to anyone, and yet he went running out to sit down with Glenn Simpson, an opposition research firm, and, and brief all of their buddies in the press in September in order to create negative headlines against Donald Trump. He blew the FBI's operation, put it out there in the public. 
um, and and then the Hillary Clinton campaign capitalized it on, on it in the days following. So, tell me how we view this man as a stand-up MI6 agent that can be trusted. If he understood the rules of the game, he would not have broken all of the FBI's rules. He strikes me as a political operator who was, by the way, on record of saying that he was absolutely opposed to Donald Trump ever becoming president. Dick. I think that um, <clears throat> I'm not defending Christopher Steele. Uh, I do want to point out, though, that Steele said in a deposition on the civil lawsuit that he got a lot of his material from an outside source, unsolicited, he said. And uh, <clears throat> let's Seven remember sources. that this guy, who was the bureau chief at MI6, wrote a dossier that said prostitutes were peeing on the bed, that Steve Cohn is the guy who arranged the collusion, and Cohn had never been to Prague, where it took place. He said Carter Page that met guy, with individuals he had that, never met and was That a guy who was serving a 40-year sentence for pedophilia in the Gulag was the one who hacked yeah. Hillary's uh, DNC computer. Eighty percent of that dossier is so clearly a lie. And 40 uh, percent of it is... 20 percent is real, 40 President Trump has a big problem. Forty percent of it is... Uh, the story about yeah, well, Steve Cohen. Again, let's, let's, Between let's, let's, Dick so, Morris and Devin Nunes giving credence to the so dossier. Here's the, here's the thing. Is, is <laughs> but could, 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 the, ahead, could, quick. could we hear what the 20 percent is that's true? Yeah. I don't or know. Even the I 10 or the Bob Mueller. Yeah. Guys, guys, guys. Hold Bob Mueller is going to tell us. Is this the standard? Is this the standard now? You can spy on an American citizen yeah. with a document that his, his providence is unclear. Uh, whose agent behind the document has violated the norms of, of intelligence by sharing this information with the press before it was even, looks like, submitted to the FISA court. Uh, and, the, and the FBI itself knew that this, the origin of this document was funded by a political opposition, not just an opposition person, but the opposition candidate. If you can spy on an American on that basis, I find it to be terrifying. I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, or somewhere in but between. But that's not the basis. That is terrifying. The basis for the warrant as we've learned, is that George Papadopoulos, the coffee boy... Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a real the reason coffee to spy boy. Donate it to the coffee the boy. The 28-year-old kid goes into a bar... Bar, and, like... But it's not the dossier. boasts all about how... But it's not the dossier. boasts all about how great he is and how wired he is with everything. Once the FISA... That's the basis yeah. Once the FISA warrant was granted, Carter Page was listened in on, and every 90 days they renewed it for three on times... On the same phony basis. Based, no, week. no. Same phony basis. You basis. can't renew it unless it's based on what the 90 days have provided. The same... Kimberly, no, on the idea... No, no, Kimberly. So the grassy... Didn't they, go ahead. Then they to conclude that the <laughs> dossier was a significant part, if not the instrumental part, of the FISA application, without which... The FISA application would not have been filed. McCabe did say that uh, in in the uh, testimony on Capitol Hill, the closed door. He said that, and the Grassley grammar referral, which, by the way, quotes from the FISA application. It's the first time we've seen text from the FISA application. Said that the FISA application relied, quote, heavily on two pieces of information, on the dossier and then on a Yahoo News article that was inspired by Christopher Steele as well and meant to suggest that somehow there was corroboration. And by the way, the, the Grassley Graham referral also, and this is very important, uh, reveals to us that even Comey admitted in front of the Senate judiciary that we have evidence that they didn't, weren't able to independently verify the dossier or this article. Comey and when he was asked why, that. Comey said that, and so when he was yeah. asked why they nonetheless ran with it, he said, well, because Christopher Steele's a reliable guy. Okay. And yet, a this is a guy, a again, mess. who broke FBI rules. Uh, this is, this right. is, Ron, Ron, Ron Johnson, Ron Johnson swung Sydney and a miss. Yeah. Devin Nunes swung and miss. Grassley is taking the baton from them, and he's trying the same thing to muddy the water. We should How talk about the text messages. The text messages. Did the come text up that messages. I'm, I'm just I'm kidding. kidding. I'm kidding. How? I'm Sydney kidding. Blumenthal. Let's go to Brit. I mean, made sorry. I just like to made notice. Up the story. Go ahead. That Perot. Can I point uh, out? <laughs> investigated his daughter's fiance. Okay, well, you're going to Perot now, Dick. 2018. We're not going to go to he, Ross Perot. Because but, he was you know. an anti Semite okay, and didn't yeah. want his daughter marrying a yeah. Jew. Can't, and okay. and right, wrote yeah, that yeah, in the New Republic. Yeah, I, I get all that. That's, okay, I'm going to hit. Philippe's hitting. He's going to hit me with it. All right, uh, fantastic segment.